Hello everyone, my name is Garrett Ryan, and I'll be moderating the very second episode of our podcast, Ontario 644. If you missed our first one, here's how this podcast works. We have a list of topics that we're going to run down in uh, a very conversational, raw, uncut sort of manner, and it's going to branch off into different conversations. So, uh, without further ado, recording from our studios, which may or may not be in my basement, of Ontario, Canada, this is Ontario 644! I'm a stat man I'm a stat man That song may have been so intense a fight broke out yeah. during it. A couple of people got injured. A couple of people were injured. So, uh... We are going to do the same thing as last time, where we're going to go around this circle and kind of introduce ourselves so we can get a feel of each other's voices so we're not uh, totally lost during this because there's a, a large amount of people even greater than last time. So, around the circle... We're gonna go around and uh, say our favorite thing about boats and our names. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey, I'm Allie. Um, I don't know. My favorite thing about boats is that they float. That was mine. Uh, except one. A couple. There's a few. The Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Jacob, and I like that sometimes they don't float. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Sorry. monster! I'm Matt, and I like when they go fast. Oh. Mm. I'm Big D Summersby, oh, and uh, also known as Darren, and I like boats because why not? <laughs> why not? My name is Brody Hawkins. I am from Chisholm, and I like boats on land. Ooh. 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 Uh, my name is Tannis, and I like boats because I like water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boats keep out of water. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that hey, I'm still Tim, and my favorite part about boats is when they have really big holes in the bottom. Oh my gosh. What? Dark people. <laughs> um, I'm Nick, and I like when there's little rooms you can go in in boats, and you can oh, just hide awesome. when there's a storm and you're sinking. Yeah, or when you have the drugs. <laughs> My name is Patrick, and I'm going against the float because I'm wearing a fez. Oh my god. <sighs> what do you like? Nothing. That's why I'm going against the flow. No, flow. Uh, oh, you boats are awesome. Boats are awesome. This yeah. is, this is G, Matt. No, it's not. It's not. It, it was not last time. Uh, it's, not, it's, 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 it's not rated G. It's, it's not rated G because there are no rating systems in place for podcasts. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you are very much so allowed to but swear. But not like, like not just like constant, like not like, like a swear as much as you want, but talk. If it's as, necessary, if there's if it talk as though you normally talk. Yeah. Don't yeah. Oh, don't okay. swear as much as Tannis. Yeah. yeah. yeah tannis. So uh, our first topic, I guess, if we're just gonna <laughs> go right into it, uh, our first topic is we have like a list of topics on a weird M and M thing that's standing up here. So our, our first topic says last words, which is kind of misleading because it's not actually about like the final words you say oh. Oh. totally. Oh. It is, no, but good. not really, so I'll explain it. Um, there's a type of disorder that's oh. subcategoried <laughs> under verbal aphasia, and um, that's basically... That is my favorite word now. Aphasia? You're welcome. Aphasia. Fantasia. Basically, this... I'm going to spell words for you, let me talk. <laughs> Basically, this uh, word, this word, you guys have got me all sidetracked. This disor disorder makes you <laughs> be only able to say one word for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. So uh, we're going to go around and not in a circle like I just motioned. We're just going to discuss if you could only say one word for the rest of your life, uh, what would it be? Um, and let's not do swears because I know that yes. everyone's going to be like fuck I would say oh, I'll do it great <laughs> you got it on the table so. I put it out there I knew it was going to happen are we going in the circle no no, no just talk either oh, good choice either what? spaghetti or tacos oh, I have a good one you can still write stuff right okay what let's say uh, what about no, reasoning spaghetti. the only oh. word I would say is um just so it keeps oh. them on end <laughs> oh, no it would be one. yes 
No. Well, what if, no, somebody's, what if like, somebody's like, can I yeah, rape you? Yeah, then you just shake your head. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, then it yes. wouldn't be rape, right, Matt. Yes. You shake your head. Okay, no, you don't have to say anything. Well, well, you know, well if it's yes, let's yeah. just do that. Well, I think um is a good one. I don't know, I'm not a rapist. I think, I think the easiest thing to do would be to use no, because if you say no twice, it's double negative, which means yes. But nobody knows that. Okay. Everyone no. knows that. No, you wouldn't say no, no. You're not going to think it's no. No, no, no. People might just think you're going to say no twice. No, 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 no. I have a thing. No, you don't. So. You don't know. We have done, it's like subtext. No matter what you say, you can still get your point across if you say it a certain way. We've done exercises like this in drama before. So it's like you could say banana in a certain way and it would be like, I love you till the ends of the earth or something. Say that. Banana. Just do it. Do it. <laughs> banana. <laughs> yeah, do it. So you can do that. You're, say, you're making the argument that you can do that, so say it. Banana. Say I love you. Say I love you in by banana. saying banana. Banana? What? Oh, what? Why do you say I love you? No. Good love job. You. Oh. She I doesn't. You. Banana. Uh, so if you want So if you want to watch this real quick, this is an example. This is the tone. Oh, yes, yeah. oh, no. oh no, this is gonna make us look like bad people. Okay, don't we are bad people. Lab. This is this is the guy who can only people. say tono. How effective this patient is at manipulating his intonation of this utterance. The segments you will see are first a conversation about his. Tandis just kind of made an I to told you so motion. So why don't you tell me exactly what he said after he talks? <laughs> Upcoming move to a new house, followed next by a sample of his spontaneous automatic speech. Tell me, why is it that you're moving, actually? Uh, tunnel, 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 the house is getting too big, or? Ta-da, 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 ta-da. Ready for a smaller place? Ta-da. Seems reasonable. Okay, I'm not going to play the whole thing. His wife died in the house? They're horrible people. You two are horrible people. The thing is, we're horrible people. Yeah, we are horrible people, but we're laughing about it. But the good thing is this guy laughs about it, kind of near the end of the video. He starts laughing. What if he's crying? I don't think I can tell them to be laughing or crying. Don't, 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 Let's keep Hodor. Hodor. Yeah, the, well, the reason I saw this originally is because it was being compared to Hodor. But, um... I am Groot. Yeah, I don't... I, I feel don't like... That's not a word. I feel like I would say sorry. I'm not... Yes, that would oh, be your word. One. That'd be your word. I still think coffee, just so I can order it, always. Coffee. I, I have I'm, a question. I'm just, just giving you coffee, coffee. Taco or spaghetti. What, but there's different types of coffee. I'm so staying with coffee. That's your classic coffee question. Coffee. For, for this, like, disorder... Do you know that you're only okay. saying one word, or does that's that's what I was about black. to bring up? In many, <laughs> I would say the majority of the cases, they're not aware that they're only saying one word. Okay. Oh my wow. god! Yeah. Then, what then if that we're would only change. saying one word? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're conversing. And, what, and none of you are laughing about that right now. You're just being really polite. <laughs> yeah. Are you still being really polite? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Taco. Oh no. What? Is now having an existential crisis. I'm okay. okay. I'm Here's okay. Question. I, I think. <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> um, that was me choking. What would happen if two people who have this disorder were to converse? Oh. I know it would just be very confusing. Yeah, it would. Well, no. What if they assume... understood each other because of the intonation? Mm. That would be really strange. But uh, if, if we're going on the fact that they don't understand each other, it'd be like one person would hear them saying one word, it's like, what the hell are you talking about? And the other person would hear them, it's like, what the hell are you talking about? Wait, You're only saying one what word. What if they both say yeah. the same oh, they're, and they're word? Trying to it's talk like people talking about. in different languages. What if they no, both two the same word? Yeah. Exactly. If it was the same word, would they then yeah. understand each other? Probably not. No, yeah. because I don't think they're aware that they're only saying I, Well, word. if we both started saying human, 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 <laughs> like, it's human? not like we, oh, I don't know why I chose human. But it's not like I'll understand what you're saying. Could be human. But, um... Something that's something that's interesting, which I'm gonna go to the part that will make everybody laugh, which, no. is, which is really sad. But it but it is an interesting thing. S somehow does he know? I th this guy knows, um, but somehow um, this guy can still count up to ten in normal because counting uses a different brain function than speaking. Oh, so it's really know. interesting to watch him count. But he can only count up to a certain. He can count up to ten before he starts slowly shifting back into tono. It's really, it's really sad. Darren might, Darren might laugh. 
Those people are going to be unfriendly. And uh, so, it's something that's sort of comforting. <laughs> this this disorder will usually only happen after a stroke or some serious brain trauma. So it's not like it's not like you're just gonna wake up one day and be like, oh, bar. So basically, oh, bar. Oh, bar. So basically, it'll happen after a fight. After a fight. Oh yeah. So Right. Right. Now let's count it out. One, two, three, four. Nice, nice. Well, since you did four so well, let's let's go for broke. Let's go up to twenty. Watch out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty, twelve, twelve. One, two, twelve, 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 twelve. Okay. It's still, it was really close. Laughing. It's a really interesting disorder. Like it, it's. Like the bad guy. Yeah. I wonder if you could train yourself out of that. It brings uh, up some interesting yeah. questions about like the, the brain. brain. Yeah, how your brain works because you can count up to say ten, and then it starts not being the counting part of your brain. Exactly. It being the speaking part. And you don't want. You don't want to know what's really interesting. Um, this disorder, because th this is the first thing I thought, which I forget, it was, I don't know if it was you that just said this, um, writing will also be affected, so he'll only be able to write Tono. Oh, what is it? Oh. How is it spelled? And T-O-N-O. But he sees... But he, I think words. he's seeing, he's right, oh. and also sign language. He can't sign anything else really? then. Really? Yeah. That's wow. So interesting. Yeah, it's so strange. Well, draw? Well, well so he's got to, like, affect... I guess he can draw because it's not words. So what if he's drawing sign words? It's probably not uh -huh. so much the, uh, the ah. speaking no, no, or writing. Writing. other it's comprehensive like, like parts of your brain like as much as no, it is the language No, he would probably just draw the same thing over and over yeah. and think it was other stuff. Like, like that would make sense. Like, what well, is tone? tone? No, but it would probably just, just be one thing. just a sound thing. that started coming out of his mouth. I think, if I read in the description, I'm pretty sure this guy had a stroke. No. The description just says Tono. Yeah. Did he post it? No, 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 he may have. I don't, <laughs> can he type? He may have. Email? No, 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 well, typing is also affected. Okay. Okay. Everything, well, <laughs> tono, everything. Tono, tono, tono. Wait, how do you know where the T-O-N-O is? Yeah, that's, that's, that's weird. It's, it's like typing and writing and stuff. Like, typing that's why for right? type. Oh, well, yeah, but yeah, when yeah, he types, he should, like, you would think that it would be He should be able to type. I mean, you can see the different letters. No, because you already have the letters and he just clicks them. That's what makes me think it's the language side of the brain. But yeah. to, like, they, in the video, they communicate with him and say that he's talking about his sons, uh, about them moving the house, so they have to know what he's actually talking about. How do they so know? Have to type, have to well, they just know what's going on. That. Like, they're asking why he's moving, and because they know he's well, moving. Well, they probably have people who are, like, Oh, well, they're asking him, yeah, like they're asking him questions, and and the weird thing is because he's responding to the questions as though he was like yeah. as he's asked, so he understands English <coughs> fine, but he uh, just can't. This is a, this is a bit off topic, but it, it kind of brings up a thing that I've thought about a lot. Um, what, what if like, would you rather go blind for the rest of your life, or instead instead of the going mean wizard, <laughs> <laughs> back. or instead of going blind. Like, the last sight you see, so say, I'm looking at Patrick right now. Mm. That's all I would see for the rest of my life. I'd oh. rather go blind. Depending on oh. No, oh. I, 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 I feel like that would really disorient me, like, if it was just one, like, because mm. it looks like three-dimensionals, <coughs> and that's where I think I am, so, like, walking Yeah, yeah that at least kinda... you could practice, without being able to see, you could practice just not No, I'd seeing. rather be blind. But seeing. Blind. But, and but you get so depends sick of just on what you're looking that? at. Yeah, if it wouldn't affect, well, if it wouldn't affect my movement nice coordination and stuff, I would love to, like, look at, like, a nice, like, like beautiful, a starry like, night yeah, or something. something like well, that. Well, see, but, Ali, what you were saying about how, like, it would be really, it would, like, get boring to only see, like, one image Yeah, I guess you're black. Yeah, if, if you're blind, well, we don't, I don't know what blind people see, so. Yeah, nothing. nothing. That guy talks blind. about, yeah, it's not, it's not, like, the color black, like, if you what hear, if, if you hear people talk uh, about being blind when they've oh. seen before, because they're like, oh, it's not blackness, it's nothing, and you can't. You can't mm -hmm. describe no. it. It's impossible. It's I the same thing nothing. as describing a color. Only blind people will ever see nothing. That is such mm. a weird concept. It's, yeah, you're not. It's not like your eyes are closed and black. It's that there is no I vision going. Okay, guys, I'd like to just say that's yeah. really fucking me up. <laughs> yeah, it. It that really it wouldn't be white. Right. 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 In 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 school when I was younger, in like grade two, we wrote we wrote letters to God. Oh, and God. and, and really? yeah, what's the to? So you were, I was in a uh, This is the twenty first century. Anyway, anyway, so we were writing letters to God, and that was my question. I was like, God, what is nothing? Not even a color. 
I think no, nothing. Keep going to church and you'll be fine. Oh we, That's how you'll we'll never be able to understand out. nothing and perfection because they're just like the exact. Well, yeah. nothing and perfection could be the exact same. It's so unreachable. Infinity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, it's, we will never be able to attain what? nothing or perfection. I think oblivion would be pretty perfect. Uh, mm-hmm. Why? Because I'm a dork. I'm not depressing well, that, that, that also Did brings like up some more sort of physics-y it. questions well, about, so like, order better. and chaos and stuff. Like, is order chaos. perfection or is chaos perfection? Chaos. Chaos because and it's then really natural. either way, you still end up with nothing, because yeah. perfect order is nothing and perfect chaos is also nothing. But chaos... Uh, chaos is the original land <laughs> of the world. That's so that's just not pissing in a tub. It's the same thing as we think, like, humans are so, like, like, able to think new thoughts, and they're not. They're able to deconstruct other thoughts and make them their own. But then you go back to way back when, when people just came right. up with math concepts that are just, what? They're just a like, bam, there yeah, it is. Well, <laughs> yeah, because that's just like... But, no, but yeah, really... Yeah, but then like you get people like Pythagoras, who said everything is made out of triangles, and you realize, what the fuck were, was he thinking? And it just, it's just yeah. a, <laughs> throwing it out there. But and then we invented like, well, graphic right. design, and now we can make everything out of triangles. Now that's <gasps> true. But that's not that doesn't mean that everything is That implies an intelligent I mean, designer though. But it could be. Like every all the fancy graphics you see, it's just millions and millions of triangles. Um here's a question. Here's an answer. Possibly. Wait, is math yeah. did humans just invent math or is it a part of the universe? Yeah, did math is a did human Newton invent calculus or did he discover it? That's yeah, was it just there lingering, like <laughs> waiting for someone to discover? Oh, finally! <laughs> I, think no, I think that math is a construct because it's just so it's abstract in a way that but just things like yeah, yeah, so many patterns. Yeah, things like pi. Where up here everywhere? Or or the Fibonacci sequence? Yeah, how you see it in like yeah. nature and like things yeah. like that. And so oh, weird. really cool experiment I was reading about and then did a little while ago. If you take a pin. And measure it, and draw two lines like, you know, so the pin will fit perfectly between them. And then you grab a handful of pins and just drop them, and you count how many pins cross the line and how many pins don't. And I think you double one of them and then divide the two. It equals pi always. What? what? Yeah. Like that. We need to test the seven philosophy. Like those kind of mass things, it has to be like th- that person just happened to be born with like an extra bit of information. Just like here you go. <laughs> yeah. Share it with the world. Oh, pie, never like how do you find stuff like that? Yeah, yeah it's like a look at your seat. By the cosmos. Yeah, but then there's like the idea the that all information <laughs> is always there, and as soon as someone like rediscovers it, rediscovers oh, it, goodness. that everyone else will have that knowledge. Like it was um, um Darwin. Darwin was writing. Writing his book on evolution, and there was a guy in the U.S. or in like in the Americas that was writing basically the exact same thing. And the only reason that we remember Darwin first is because he wanted to beat that dude first, so he he published his book. Newton and Leibniz both discovered, invented, whatever you want to call it, calculus at about the same time, and no one had done it before that. And a slightly different but similar variation. Uh, Norse paganism was revived in Iceland, the UK, and the US all in the same year. That's so cool. Wow, that's I love the Norse. Uh, so Odin's though. probably back. Odin Odin's has always been here, though. He's the All Father. But, okay, I have a question that's. I don't know why I said but because it's not really tying into <laughs> anything. It's a totally different topic, but it's not on there. Um, what do you think? Okay, so. Do you agree with the fact that the universe is infinite and uh, anything that can be imagined is in the universe somewhere? Yes. It hurts me. Completely. Yeah. Yes. So so what do you think about the, the popular Christian theory that says it, the concept of a god means there is a god? Oh, it's, the well, ontological argument. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, it's, it's, yeah, if, yeah, like if there is infinity and perfection, all that kind of stuff, if we can think about that, we have to measure that against something... So the only thing we could measure it against is God, because any physical thing that you think is really beautiful, you could always think of something that would be more beautiful. And to have an idea, like, to be able to measure something, there has to be, like, a finite end to it. There has to be something that is perfect. Mm -hmm. So therefore, God would have to exist, because God (coughs) is perfect. Yeah. Theoretically. Oh, I thought it was... 
to go back to go back into the thought that if we think of something then it's like existed or some like somehow it needs to come into our conscience. Um, Slender Man, like the, the the idea of how Slender Man was created, that's one of the biggest like theories, is that because people started believing in Slender Man so much, or like just the idea of him, that he could actually be real, like he is real. Those well, he two is. girls who killed their friend, yeah, yeah, or yeah. stabbed their friend. Almost, sorry, almost killed them. Stat, yeah, they're all, or she's alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what? Uh, so base, but if we can think it, it could be that. Wait, what happened with these two? Yeah, yeah, what happened with yeah, these girls? Who said that? Okay. Who wants to tell the story about the two girls? I, I, I will. So what happened was there okay. were these two girls. I don't know where they were. I didn't it was like somewhere was in the United States. Probably. 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 So that's where it'd be. Fucking America. Everything happens there. No, everything we're happens in Ontario. Florida. And yes. our American yeah, viewers. Florida man. Wait, wait, keep going with the story. Okay. And so these two girls movies. had brought their friends, or brought a friend out like to the middle of the forest and stabbed her like 22 mm. times or something. Yeah, something. Yeah. And Why? I don't, I don't. Because it's slender. Be, because and so yeah. some, I can't, I can't remember how, but the police found them and they saved the girl that got stabbed's life. Oh. And when they were asking the kids like, why did you do that? They said that they were doing it because Slenderman told them. And the freaking creepy thing about it is that Slenderman, if you believe in like the mythos of about of Slenderman, he has the power to do that. He can control people into doing things, which is terrible. Oh, yeah, but there's also the argument that people have wicked psychoses like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, because they believe it so much that their mind yeah. makes there's, it become real. Yeah, but there's always right those people with an inborn disposition towards violent psychoses like that. Yeah. And that can lead them to finding any source to kind of influence them and push them over the edge. And then, yeah. since there are two of them, if, say, only one of them had this, these violent tendencies, she, she could have easily persuaded the other girl mm -hmm. to do it too because when you're a child, like... Peer pressure is powerful. Yeah, peer pressure and rea reality yeah. isn't really... Yeah. And as much as we'd like to say that it's like, oh, if I was in that situation as a kid, I would never have done something like that. Like, you, never you don't know. I'd probably, probably be the one who got stabbed. You, you, the girl? Yeah, you, you don't know what that girl said to her friend or, mm -hmm. or what happened to them. or What if anything. she was like, if you don't do this, I'll stab you. Exactly. It could Yeah. Anything the, like that. The girl said in an, um, in an interview, it felt like nothing. When she was stabbing, it didn't feel like a body. It just felt like she was stabbing air. Yeah, that oh, that indicates a uh, type of psychosis. How old is yeah. she? Like, I, she's like eight. Girl. I, they, they, no, they were they were I think in the tens, like so 10, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> the like, <laughs> like <laughs> preteens, kind of. Yeah, double digits. Yeah, tweens. <laughs> tweens. Oh, <laughs> that word is disgusting. Yeah, it sounds like a weird version oh of some like variant schizophrenia. Like if she like yeah, not hearing voices but feeling voices if you know uh, what I mean like mm -hmm. like feeling influence over you instead of actually hearing voices telling you what to do like, which is definitely symptomatic of, of like schizoid like schizo disorders yes yeah, stuff like that so yeah some, some on the spectrum of like some schizophrenia related disease or any psychosis See, and I had a thought on schizophrenia because for, for some reason I was I was just looking up AMA a AMAs on Reddit and there was one about yeah. this lady who um, was schizophrenic she had Two voices in her head, is and then she the professor now. I don't think so. I don't. I don't okay, know. Okay, because I, I was. She I, had yeah. two voices in her head that she could hear, and then one physical like apparition that she could see and hear, and like just thinking on that, it's like, imagine if the voice in your head right now, the one that you can all hear, I assume, unless it's just me and them. In which point, I'm crazy, but the voice the in your head voice, is just like. Oh, okay, I'm like. Yeah. The internal what? monologue. <laughs> I've been missing out. The internal monologue. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine if that's just like a mild version of like schizophrenia. Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't yeah. think it is. It's just me. But way to give me another. Yeah. <laughs> now now that'll always bother me. That, and it's happening thing, right now. Another, to produce these words, it's thinking. And another oh. thing, I, I've, uh, I've noticed this because oh, I've spent God. a lot of time trying to like to hear what the voice sounds like. The more that I try to hear what the voice in my head sounds like. Uh, the quieter it gets, and I can't hear yeah. it anymore. No, that's. Uh, it's just, so interesting. I want to. Well, like have you voice. ever had the thing? I feel like but schizophrenia. You know like. Schizophrenia is a more developed version of natural weird things Thought that happen. Process. Because I have things like that that happen to me. But sometimes, like I'll be if I'm like sitting, like mm -hmm. listening to music or something. Like you hear someone calling you, and like you're yeah. like, "Hello, yeah. no one called." Yeah. Or, or like. 
But that uh, sometimes I'm about to fall asleep and I'll hear like a loud like ah and I'll be like what yeah oh, like all I hear have you people, ever sometimes when I'm stressed out doing a test I'll hear two people yelling at each other that yeah, could be over what? the top oh. but I hear like I just like oh feel, that like, is schizophrenia like, <laughs> okay so I've, I've got like, a couple of points on this uh first off is that like Patrick said I always find the kind of thought process voice to be so bizarrely indistinct mm-hmm. oh. and it's just. It's generic to the point where I can't take any notice of it except for the words that come from it. Mm-hmm. And the second one is, um, oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, what are you thinking of it? That's it. That's it. While, while you're thinking, <laughs> can I say something? Mm-hmm. I have two thought process voices, and and it's taken me a long time to realize this. But I have one that has like is the immediate voice that's like oh do this or like something and then i have another instinct. one that's like i'm like yeah you have instincts and the other one that's like wait that's stupid or like yeah or or you think something that's totally illogical it's like one that's not going through any of your thought processes you definitely instinct have those and rationale. so so it's one that's like eh, that's like what if like look okay, at there's a fish on the wall before us it's like one it's like what if that fish is talking like just a weird <laughs> thought and then yeah. i have another one like what <laughs> so, so I have two kind of yeah. thought process. See, I, ha- I have I have that, but I also have the fact that it's it's those voices, but they voices. It's those like concepts, and then it's also I have like a positive one and a negative one. So I'll just yeah. be walking down the hall, and it's like I want to hit that person because like they're being yeah. really annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah, he's yeah. going like, why? What did they do? It's like yeah. I don't care. I just want to hit them. Exactly. <laughs> all, 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 it's like that. It's like yeah, the, often, so, yeah, like an <laughs> immature and a mature friend. That's yeah. Like, or it's like when you're walking down the street and it's like, I want to jump in front of that bus right now. <laughs> that's yeah. That's yeah. yeah. I'll that's give you a question, Matt. That's something you need to get a doctor yeah. for. No, no, I think I, everyone has that. I, yeah. 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 I, I, I remember so my point. Too. That's what we've been talking about, Darren. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I remember oh, kind of the loop. Oh, wait, wait. wait. Quick, let's. Uh, my point earlier, the one that I said <laughs> shit to, was has anyone else had that moment where they just hear something? so clearly in a voice that they recognize that you're like that's not just me thinking it yeah yeah i know what Wait, you mean what? like Can sometimes it gets again? so clear you're like that's yeah, yeah that's Morgan, not like, it's not my mind. What the heck are you <laughs> like a voice that you recognize that. says something like say a friend's voice says your name but it doesn't actually happen because they're not around you but it's so clear to the point oh. that it couldn't mm. not have happened ah uh. Yeah, I have mm-hmm. two points towards that. One with the, like, whole dual voice thing. I find for me it's, like, the reckless voice and the cautious one. It's, yeah. like, the, the, oh, you should you should drive into the oncoming lane. The other one's like, no, that's <laughs> a terrible idea. I feel, <laughs> like, I feel like, like my uh, good idea one, well, the one that says don't fucking do that, stabbed the one that said, oh, <laughs> jump in front of the bus so or something because, of bus. because mm-hmm. I just don't have those, like, Drive here or walk in front of the bus. It's like it's, it's like like it doesn't it's fight insane. each other. It's always either one or the other. It's never do you both have, conflicting. Does anyone else have the voices that like uh this is odd. like a kind of like a murderous kind of voice yes. that's like oh I could stab that person. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 And you're like well, no, and then you feel so bad. You're like no, yes. no. For theater people. When I'm walking down, oh yeah, no. theater people get really angry. No, I. Um, <laughs> but when <laughs> I'll be yeah, I'll be walking out of class for, and I may have been stressed in class and then I'm like I just like kill everyone and no. <laughs> You've said that out loud before. Well, yeah. Oh my god. But, yeah, you say it out loud. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's but it's 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 like a thing where it's like. Like I could, it's like you have the po- you could do that. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like if, thought, like, if you're class. sitting on the wall, like a wall or something, like I could push them off and kill them. No, like, exactly. well, and it even gets thing. to like I wonder what would happen if I, I have did. a really. Yeah, and you're like thinking about the whole scenario. I have a yeah. really yeah. weird yeah. example of this. One time, uh, so I was... killed someone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. One time I uh, listened. One time I was on my bus ride home, and I was the last one there because I'm the last stop all the time. Mm-hmm. And I think it was like early winter. And my bus driver was driving to my stop, and it was just a straight street, and then it branches off. Brody knows the street I'm talking about. Yes. And so, I was just like, I could just grab his head. Oh my and gosh. twist. Oh my <laughs> god. People, so many people are locking out. Out of the chat room. Signed up. <laughs> and, uh, like, I just started wondering if, like, his foot would, 
like go limp and stay on the, the gas? Oh, or yeah. Oh, what would happen and would he drive I'm straight into the house like down street. there? I thought yeah. about that too. If someone like had a seizure or something during mm. the driving, it's like, would they keep driving and I could just take the steering wheel and like get to my destination? Yeah. Or like, <laughs> <laughs> why, no, no, right. <laughs> why did we think One that, time. that was more extreme than all of us saying, I oh, just want to kill someone? Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, come on. Okay, I, I think we should listen to Tans and then switch before like yes. someone starts getting anxious about what's happening. But I feel like everyone has these though. So I yeah. hope so. Or else I hope we don't yeah. have these. Or else we have these. I know <laughs> one more thing before before this. Um, I know that a lot of people that are like super religious will have like anti-religious thoughts sometimes because mm. I've heard people talk about this where they have a thought like I could do this and they're like no and it really <laughs> and it's no, the same God thing as the murderous faith. tendency kind of thing. What? It's called questioning your faith. <laughs> I guess. Like, um, I guess. If it's you like put is it that way. Really religious? <laughs> I don't know. Ask Emily. Yeah, well, Emily was here last time, and Patrick brought up hell, and we were she's like, like oh. I was like, no, cut it. <laughs> cut yeah, it she's breaks. like, no, I don't believe in hell. Then I was like, we're not having a religious debate. Oh, and then, uh... Because it, be, it would be like everyone oh, against yeah, her. Yeah. And we'd be like... Because I wouldn't be against anybody. Yeah, that's, yeah I mean, we wouldn't be like, pounding her down. Stop it. <laughs> hey, um, Strange. What? <laughs> that would be Matt's word. Um, okay. Um, what? Oh, yeah, go tennis. Are we gonna uh, change? I have two things. Okay, quick. I'm glad I'm not the only one that that happens to because I, like, that freaks me out when I get, like, the two voices going on. I'm, like, that, this what makes me a lot happier because now I'm not entirely crazy. Um, two. Entirely um, crazy. the other thing is I love it when when friends' voices pop into my head. I find it really that awesome because when I'm... Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. Like, if hey, I tennis, think... No. Like, no, 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 no. Like, if I'm... If, like... Like, I can just, like, I like being able to imagine your guys' voices. It just makes me really happy because it makes oh, me Oh, like, really imagine happy. it. Like, yeah. I'm not, like, oh, no, I'm not, no, like, like, just, like, Garrett's the in my is, head. Yeah. The thing is, <laughs> hey. like, the, this reminds me of something that happened because that's like one of, one of the English classrooms. Um, there's a, there's a thing, and it's like, okay, read this in your head, and, and so I, it's, it's supposed to be, like, it's magic how you've got this voice in your head that reads for you, but it's not entirely yours. <laughs> so you're reading through, and it's like, okay, so read this. In, in your voice now whisper it now say it really loud and then now put on your best old man voice and read this and Patrick Patrick's old man voice popped into my head <laughs> and I was like come on <laughs> why did it have to be that one but it was but that just it makes me really happy that I get that back in my day yeah. it makes you we happy that Patrick's old man voice right is right in now. your head well that and like that's that's just like an, one example like I get all of your voices in my head sometimes depending oh, on the situation that's so sweet uh okay I guess hey. Well, we can we can switch topics Thank now. Do we do the let's, game? Yeah, let's get into the game. We can talk about the ambulance yeah. and stuff is, after. Is it, is but it well, why do you think you wrote all the stuff down? No, uh, no what is the ambulance? Can we'll, we'll come, come back. Oh, okay. Tell it after. I want to know. Because this you. this topic so, for a while. Yeah, this topic can go on for a little bit. So basically, this game was suggested by uh, Ray, and um, it's who's Ray? You. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, cause it, this that's really freaky because that goes into the story I'm gonna tell later. I'm glad I'm not <laughs> Let's tell the story now. Okay. Do you want me to tell the story? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, last night I uh, was making plans with some of my friends to like just hang out at oh, like, sure, and it was like nine o'clock at night. <laughs> Tim, come on. <laughs> and I was watching. I was waiting for ten o'clock because that's when I was leaving. So I was just watching videos on my phone. My phone rings. It's an unknown caller. Like it has the number but I don't know who they are yeah I answer the phone I'm mm -hmm. like hello and all I hear is everybody quiet. Shh, shh, shh. like there's like 10 people I'm like what hello and they're like happy birthday <laughs> everybody starts singing happy birthday <laughs> happy birthday dear Ray <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I let them sing the whole song and I'm just like I think you have the wrong number. And they're like, oh my god, oh my god, hang up. <laughs> Ten minutes later. <laughs> oh no. I'm still watching videos. My phone rings and it says no caller ID. And I think this is my friend Aiden because he doesn't have, for some reason, his number never shows up on my phone. Yeah. So I'm like, hello? Everybody, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. I let them sing half. I hang up. Five minutes later, I get a text. It says, is this Raymond Blick? And I say, uh, what did I say? Raymond Blick, if you're listening, we're sorry. I said, uh, 
I said, no, sorry, you have the wrong number. But if you find him, tell him I said happy birthday. <laughs> and then they respond. Oh my gosh, I'm so flippin' embarrassed. I goofed it again. I'm so sorry. Oh, well, I'm an idiot. I'll tell him you said happy what birthday. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on. Okay. Did this happen to everyone? Man, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I'd just like to say something. Matt? <laughs> Is that you, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Did this happen to everyone? <laughs> First off, the same thing happened to me last night. Oh, oh yeah, we put it Who was that at the end who said hello? That was me. Yeah, we called you too. But what, I don't I don't I don't understand how you didn't know it was them. Because as soon as they started hearing, all I heard was Tannis, because she has the high girly voice. It's so easy to. I don't understand. How do you not knew? For those who are not new. Okay, wait. Twice, too. I yeah. thought it was. At first, I thought it was, like, my longtime friend, Kayla. Because it kind of sounded like Ooh. her voice. Hey, no, not, not like that. <laughs> I've known her since birth. Um, oh. Okay, no! <laughs> <laughs> You're a twin? Look at this baby! Moving on! Ray. <laughs> Raymond? Okay, okay. Ra okay, wait, really quickly. Raymond Blick is the fake name I use on Kick Messenger to catfish girls on Omegle. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You're a horrible person! Okay, wait. Wait. That was... You just admitted that. So, wait, wait, wait. Why would you do that? Who's whose phone I'm was it? It was Garrett. It was Garrett, me, Jacob. Tannis, Nick, Nick. Tannis, oh Bailey. my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, ah, I should have known. I actually thought it was. Yeah. It was so. so funny. When you it said Ray, so I was like, oh my out. god. Yeah, because I thought you were going to be like, oh, it was you guys right when I said that, but then you told the whole story. Alright, so should we. Okay, yeah, we'll get into the game now. That was um, awesome. Beforehand. Gary, you, you just lost the game. Oh, I just oh, lost, oh, lost the game. Gary, are you catfishing someone right now? <laughs> no, this <laughs> It's Raymond <laughs> Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Carell? <laughs> it's not Steve Carell. Okay. That was like a YouTuber. I don't know. It's like, I googled YouTuber. Raymond Blake and took the first guy of images. Oh my but, God. um... That poor guy. So, yeah. But, or that lucky guy. So, uh, basically the game we're about to play... Uh... I, I love that. <laughs> so I'm so stupid. Well, we were gonna tell you right away. It, we were singing Happy Birthday, and then we were gonna tell you right when we stopped singing Happy Birthday. But you're like, I, oh, I think you have the wrong number. So we just played along, <laughs> and then we're like, oh, we should tell him on the podcast tomorrow. So uh, okay, let me explain the game. Basically, the game was uh, uh, created, not created, but suggested by Ray, and um, <laughs> he uh, oh, he said we sh everyone should write down a weird story that has happened to them, and we have all these stories in a hat, and no one knows each other's stories, we're going to draw them out and try to guess whose weird story it is. It was in the fez that I was wearing. It was in the fez that Patrick was wearing. So... Patrick and Wait, can you say about if you know, like... Yes, if you know specifically, like, if the person has told you the story, don't just say it, because then that's kind of... There's no point <coughs> in that. So, because I'll probably know... So I'll, I know Jacob's already, so... I'll, I'll read them, then. You can read them? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 yeah, I can read. Okay. So Patrick's gonna read, 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 read out the stories. We're, we're not gonna do all of them probably, but we'll do some. Uh -huh. we'll, 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 do some. we'll do. We'll do. If we're having fun, we'll do this. All right. So first one is not mine. Good. I can fix shit. I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Patrick. We're winning the game already. He's picking a new one just to let you know. Because I'm an idiot. All right. This one. Call this new. It says almost killed my teammate. Oh I like that's something Nick would do. Matt. Team Matt. Matt. I guess Nick uh, doesn't play sports, so I'm going to guess Matt. 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 Yeah. Am I allowed to say if it was me or not? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't me. I would never. Oh. Oh. You guys got to watch the faces of people. When they okay, wait, what? Well, who I plays think... sport? Wait, teammate? Is it be, it says it's it's there. be anything. No, I'm going to. It's got to be Tannis. I'll, I'll, let, I'll, I'll narrow it down for you. It's one of those two. Oh, maybe Jake. It's not Jacob. It's, I know his. Then it's Alex. If he did, but if he did, I know it's Jacob's. What? I think it's Who Tim's. the fuck else is here? Oh, it's Tim. Tim. Tim, Tim plays sports? sports? No, I almost killed Brody. He was my teammate. For, For what? what? D&D. Oh, okay. oh, oh, ah, ah, Tim. How did you it. almost kill him? I threw a javelin through his chest. Oh, oh, yeah. That's not oh, real life. Jay, I get it. That's not no, real I life, think though. It works. It works. Come on. I think it's part of the show. Okay. No, it didn't. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, next one. The doorbell. Is. Uh, 
Made a group in paintball surrender while I had no ammo. Okay, that has to be Matt. Yeah. It wasn't... No, it was, it was <laughs> Matt, it was you're the Matt. only one who does it was, things. It was you. Jacob. Was it Jacob? Oh, oh. Okay. I play paintball, but it's not Matt. I'm guessing Brody. Nope. Oh. Nick? Him? Nick doesn't play paintball. Patrick. Patrick. Oh, 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 Patrick. We assumed, you do we assumed it wasn't be Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> that was weird. Was that with robotics? Yeah, that was with robotics. Yeah. Um, so what happened? Yeah. Oh, our ghost spoke. I'm That's joining. awesome. Oh, yeah, the ghost came back. <laughs> um, so what happened was, it was me and a team that I used to be on for robotics, and we'd gone out for um, a day of paintballing. And the game we were playing was, like, Infection. And so if you oh. got... There was, like... I think it started off with two zombies, and if they shot you, you would become, you'd drop down to the, the ground for, like, five seconds, and you'd come, out, you'd come up as a zombie. And so it was me and one of my other friends, and we were the first ones like that would see the zombies, so we were shooting them down, trying to get rid of them. And then I got shot, and so I dropped down, my friend ran away, and I had no ammo left, because I'd been using it all on like the original zombie. And so I, I tried to follow where my friend had gone, but my mask was clogged up, because ma paintball masks are horrible. And I saw him run into this like little hut, and I was like, okay, I'm probably going to die horribly here. And so I go in, and there's the door... And I'm right on the corner, and I can see there are guns pointing out. And so I turn my gun in without going in, and it's like, surrender, surrender, surrender! Because if you get close enough yeah, to yeah, people, you yeah. can yell surrender, and you don't have to shoot them. And they all, like, surrendered. I look in, there was about seven people. Oh I had no God. ammo. I told them they hate me now. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> it was beautiful. But yes. All right, what's next? Next. 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 I think Jacob knows mine, I think. Uh, all right. Um, parents made mashed potatoes with cauliflower to trick me. Tannis? Tannis. Oh, my parents my Oh, oh, oh no, it's Darren. It's Darren. Oh, it's Darren. <laughs> yeah. That's it is. evil. I'm so happy. Uh, uh, no, like, yeah, it's good. I, 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 yeah, I do eat that. No, it was like three years ago, because I'm not a big what? fan of vegetables, so they, um, so they, <laughs> they, 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 no, but they mixed it in with, with actual mashed potatoes. Cauliflower is the worst. Do you have to do with a dog? Okay, that's okay. Potatoes are vegetables. No, they're tubers. No, they're tubers. But they're different. No, it's it's. No, they're tubers. Potatoes are good though. They're good though. Potatoes are basically not vegetables because there's really no nutrition. Yeah, they're 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 tubers. You can make vodka with them though. That's that's nutritious. All right, what's next? All right, next up is this long one. Once, when I when I met a famous musician, I told them their music makes me almost get hit by cars. Uh -huh. I think I creeped them out. I'm gonna guess Nick. Nick. Ah, yeah, 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 that's, that's not creep. Nick is the only one that would say that. What? You know, to Mark Wait, I'm I like, need your music, when I'm, wa when I'm walking down the street, I almost get hit by cars when I'm listening to your songs. They're like, oh, don't do that. And then I'm like, uh-uh. And I just like... <laughs> like, like, wait, who? Mark Shaman? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> who is the... It's like an Oscar-winning uh, composer, and he does musicals, and uh, that's you're embarrassing. Hairspray. Yeah, you're oh, a wow. hairspray. He wrote Catch, Catch Me, Me <laughs> uh, Really? The musical. The musical version. Not the good one. Not the good one. <laughs> <laughs> Nick got the so offended. The musical's good. The musical's oh, amazing. Right. Really All good. right. Next up, we have... Once upon a time, I was walking through the forest <laughs> and encountered an alien spaceship. Really, it was a giant, seamless metal cylinder just sitting in a meadow. It was Brody. there for years before Brody. it just disappeared. Yeah, one day. <laughs> Brody, yeah. 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 That, that would was never yeah. happen to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm going to tell my story. Just it's weird. Is it a dream? So, no, it's actually happened. Oh, there was someone, an actual But alien. someone remind me of a story after all this is done. Is there was okay? an actual alien in the forest behind my house, which exists. I live in the middle of nowhere. Chism. And, Chism. And so, when I was really little, we were walking through the bush one day, <laughs> and we found this, like... Walking through probably like seven or eight feet tall and like 10 or 15 feet long and it's just seamless like shiny gray cylinder just sitting in the middle of the forest nothing else around it and it was there for like 10 years and we were just like play on it and stuff <laughs> and yeah it, it, it just sat there and then one day we went out and it was just gone <laughs> no one knows where it went was there the any marks left by it no, like, there was a little bit of a depression where it was sitting, but that's it. Like, there was nowhere it could have gone, because there were trees all around it. That's very so depressing. it must have gone up. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's so cool. 
That's awesome. awesome. My pun or his story? His story. Oh. <laughs> Your pen is awesome. Uh, okay, what's next? Right, a next. pun. I don't know why I keep shuffling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next up, pun. we have... Oh, God, this Garrett. is exciting. In grade eight, on George Bush's birthday, my friend and I brought in cupcakes and chips and... <laughs> what? George Bush's sang birthday. Sang the American National Anthem and happy birthday to George Bush as a joke. It's a joke. Pants? Why? No, it's not. No, it's an alley. It's fine. What? Oh, well, I was close. She did that? Happy yeah. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Why? Sorry for my hurting. No, it's okay. I have more. Wait, why did you do well. that? Just because? We hated our teacher. So oh, you... No. So what's it? <laughs> Fuck Joy. So you brought cupcakes. No, don't say that. <laughs> yeah, you hated your teacher, <laughs> so you're like, you brought cupcakes to Joey. Mr. Sh... Uh, Mr. Don't, no, don't. We don't say names. Stop saying people's names. Mr. Face. Okay, uh, what's next? next? Say Raymond Blick. We have <laughs> Mr. Blick. It's always Raymond Blick. When I was younger, my sister and I snuck downstairs Ten. to watch TV. But the only thing Ten. that yeah. would play was a black and white western movie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's what, something you do. What happened was okay. I was younger. It's awesome. Just, Why I, would you not want to watch a black movie? No, 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 no. Okay, Patrick let's let's said tennis. So I was like, oh, sister. I was like, oh, yeah. my tennis. sister and I used to go to. We used to sneak downstairs in like in the middle of the night, at, like two in the morning, and we just watch like Spider Man cartoons and stuff, and uh, it was awesome. And but this one time, my grandparents were staying over, and we went downstairs, and we turned on the TV, and the only thing that was playing was this black and white western movie. Every channel we turned to was it's static, porn. and we were like, what? <laughs> No, it was oh, static, yeah. and we were what so confused. What else plays at two in the morning? So at we such just, a young age. So we just we just kept playing it, and then we fell asleep. We woke up, and our grandparents were like, "What the fuck are you doing down here?" And we were like, "Oh." Watching your parents, your grandparents <laughs> talk to you like that. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing down here? <laughs> that is oh, what you so much. much. We don't talk like that. Why I just thought. Was, room? Guys, <laughs> <laughs> my grandparents don't talk like that. My grandparents are lovely people. Okay, uh, moving on. Are you saying you're not my love? Next, I wonder who it is. I accidentally got involved with a cult like Garrett, Garrett. trains, Scientology, something. Is it, the, is it the train club? Like, yeah, a club about train. Train club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, you have to tell the story. What? So, back at Chippewa days. Oh, oh God. God. Uh, Chippewa. <laughs> yeah. Stop yeah. right there. Uh, I don't know why I said the name of school, but um. I was at the school, and it, someone approached me, I think it was either grade 7 or 8, which obviously because those are the two years I attended, but uh, <laughs> someone approached me, and I forget how it happened, but they convinced me to come to this club that was about trains, <laughs> which I was like, fine, I will I will go to it, I don't I don't really care, like, I'll, I'll humor you, I'll go to one, I don't really, I'll be nice. So I, I show up, and it was... I don't know how to explain it, aside from the guy that was leading it was passionate to the point of, like... Religious. religious yes, like, like it, was, <laughs> it was like a really intense religious preacher. About like, trains. <laughs> like, and if you didn't know something, he'd freaking scream it in your face. Like, he was getting, like, and if you didn't, like, he'd be like, oh, what's your favorite kind of train? And so you'd have to show up there, like, with an extreme knowledge of trains. So, of course, me going there, I didn't know anything about trains, but it was... I can't, I can't freaking remember how I got roped into it, but I wanted to go because I was just being nice, and I didn't know anything about trains, and a guy was questioning me, and I got into a really awkward conflict of just, like, being screamed at by this guy about <laughs> trains, and I had to go to, I think, it, I, went, I, I went to either two or three of them, because I kept going, because it was like, I would go, and then I'd get screamed at and be, like, in such an awkward position, and I'd be like, I, I don't like this, but then after this, <laughs> he would approach me, like, hey, he'd be like, I was having an off day, and like, so let's try this next week. I'm sorry, like, it's cool. You get to learn stuff, and I'm like, okay, fine. So I go the next week, and it's the same thing, and it was awful. It was a <laughs> bad time. Well, sorry, How do you not know what a D22 railroad track is? Yeah. That sounds like someone my brother knows who just goes to the. You go to Chippewa? Uh, I don't know, but he just <laughs> you don't goes know to the brother. OVR station and looks at trains. It's probably him. He was like a grade, tw but he was like a grade twelve, screaming at like grade eight or seven or whatever. I think it was grade seven. But yeah, but my weird. brother graduated like last year, why did so he, he would have been in grade twelve at that point. It why did he very write? well, why? might have been the same guy. Could have been. What made him like? Rope you in, like he origin? just walked oh, through the made. halls, and he's like, "Hey, you want to?" Yeah, it's like it was. It was like a thing where his club wasn't doing well, so he was like, no one was showing up, obviously. So he was like going in the halls and like approaching people that were not like with giant groups of friends, 
because I didn't have friends. But so I'm like standing by my locker and like I think I was just approached and like someone's like, hey, like what are you doing? Like you want to come to we have like a meeting halt. after school? Yeah, to the train call. <laughs> <Terrence Lynch. laughs> no, but it was to that. It was to the point of yelling like that, and um. Sorry, my battery is dying. Uh, it was to the point of yelling like in Whiplash or Full Metal Jacket, like that kind of starting kind of like a. Not so much the full metal jacket, but in Whiplash, how he starts kind of like a really nice, like, hey, come join him. And then he just freaking flips out. I punch him. But the important question is, do they seven. sacrifice people oh, yeah, to trains? Right. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't stick around for long enough. Like, how do they sacrifice people? That would have been the fourth meeting. <laughs> I felt like if you... They tie them to the railroad tracks. One person has a lever. If, if you move on... Spider-Man, no. Spider-Man comes and saves it's the person. Like, it's like a Scientology thing where you go onto levels and you get, oh like, Oh, my more God. In, in t- no, that's you're not You're now that. the conductor. That's not true. But, yeah. <laughs> but that's oh, funny. Cool. If you, like, move in levels and you're like, I'm a, I'm an operating conductor, level 10. Level level 10. 10. Yeah, well, I'm a stage 2 <laughs> conductor. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's garbage. So, yeah. Okay. What's next? Okay. Next one. There's only one left. Okay. There, are, there are two left. I'm a what? stagecoach operator. Alright, this one oh, is. Right. Um. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Patrick's <laughs> laughing a lot. Oh no. Silently. <laughs> oh god. My face was felt up by a blind American tourist when visiting Germany. He felt me up and told me I wasn't his tour guide. Marcus. You're not Marcus. <laughs> I was walking like on the waterfront and then the a bus came and the old man came down with like a white cane and then uh like hit me under the leg and then like moved up with his cane and moved me and felt up my face and then like it was like an awkward pause and he's like you're not Marcus. He got off of a bus just to touch you? He got back on the bus. Sometimes I wish certain people would do that, but it just doesn't happen. Oh my god. Alright, and finally, the last one. Can it be? Yeah, I wonder who can it be. Um, One time I crashed my dirt bike into a friend's dirt bike and sprained his wrist. I had to drag his mangled body out of the forest. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Yeah, what's that guy doing? Is he Okay, wait, yeah. His his <laughs> you sprained his wrist and he died? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His mangled body. He didn't die, okay? But, like, this is what happened. We were we were in the sand pit up on airport, and we were dirt biking, and we separated. I didn't know where he was, so I just kept going. And I guess he did too. And I, I was coming around this bend, and I hit a jump. And I was in the air, and as I was in the air, all I see is him coming around the corner because there's like this big bush here, so the jump was here. They can't see, but the, there's a jump, and then right beside the jump there was like, a, like, bushes. So I couldn't see to the left. So I'm in the air, and all of a sudden, he comes, like, he's behind the bushes, and he comes straight out, and he's right in front of me. And there's nothing I can do. I'm already in the air, and he's just sitting there looking at me like. <laughs> I, I land, crash right into him, I flip over, fall on my back, I'm just looking in the sky, I'm like, I was perfectly fine, I start, I start laughing, I'm like, whoa, man, are you okay? I look over, and he's like, ah, his wrist <laughs> my is like, mangled he's like the, my, wrist, my wrist really hurts, man. It's like, a, it's like, um, and I broke his dirt weird bike. romance novel that, like, no one read that you find in a discount yeah. section of my mangled body. <laughs> 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 Anyways. It sounds, like a, it sounds like a spin-off of Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> oh. That doesn't sound romantic at all. It was my summer. No, it wait, wait. It was my I romance. Didn't... It was my mangled body. <laughs> that would make look... a great trailer for the movie. Yeah, that, that, that would be a horror movie. It. It would be a horror yeah. Where bodies are straight. <laughs> <laughs> Until you fall in love, one mangled body will fall in love. Actually, when I look back, I didn't drag his mangled body out. That was somebody else. You looked back and you were pulling a mangled guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he drove oh, his dirt, he drove his dirt bike out, but his arm was like he couldn't use his Walker. arm. It's mangled. Another time, I was mountain biking, <laughs> and my friend like. Never he wiped out really hard, and he you just he, should not. Bite. He also <laughs> he also sprained his like his shoulder this this time, this. and his bike was completely destroyed. So I had to carry his bike, walk my bike friend. out while he's walking with me like, uh, <laughs> and I had to drive him to the hospital. 
On your mountain bike. On your mountain bike. Bang, bang, bang. So just like sitting across your lap. So no, my no. We actually spent we actually spent a large amount of time talking about the the last words, which kind of branched off into a lot of different mm. topics. Psychosis. Yeah, into psychosis. Holy and stuff. shit! Should we just so, go straight to free zone? No. Well, I want to talk about ambulance. Well, we kind of have free. Zone. What yeah. is? We talked zone? about free zone a bit too, but I, Patrick has something he wants to talk about. But I want to talk about ambulance I just want to know topic about really quick. Uh, what exactly does? So it mean I'll talk. About I'll, I'll talk about ambulance right now. <laughs> it just says ambulance on the topic board. That's topic paper, topic topic sheet of paper. Topic. It that says ambulance on the topic. So basically, ambulance is uh, referencing a a TED talk I watched, oh. which uh, I think oh, I, watched it. I am interested. I talked about some people. I talked to this about some people. I think it was Patrick. Some people. But um, basically, it was a paramedic who was talking about the ethics oh. of uh, whether it's right or not to tell a person that they're dying if they ask. Ooh. So if a person mm. is dying, and you know they are as a paramedic, and they look up at you and says, am I gonna, say, am I going to die? Do you say yes, or mm. do you say, no, you're not, you're going to be fine? It depends on the circumstance. I would want I the truth. It's always no. But he's, well, no, it's ethics. He said a I lot of you're going to say no, morally you're going to say yes. Yes. Because there's the chance that they're going to be like, yeah, you're gonna live, and then they just have that adrenaline rush, and they're gonna actually survive because you just that's said true. one word. Yeah, and I think that's where that the, the, word, the, the the line is. Yes, yes. is one word. Because if yes. you're if you're saying no, you're and not I, going to die. You're giving them the hope to possibly pull through. But if you say no, you're not gonna die, and then they die. Like, you're just gonna feel you're like oh, I, the last thing so, that was ever said to a person was a lie. It's kind of like in Reservoir Dogs. Spoilers. In like what part? Spoilers. Uh, you know when he spoilers. Spoilers. spoilers for spoilers. Reservoir Dogs that came out in 1992. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen it. Yet. 91. Spoiler, 91. Sorry, though. don't. It's don't. not. It doesn't really ruin the story. Yeah, it's, fine. Okay. it's fine. Just. Well, is it the end? Well, no. Just okay, it's well, the plug your ears. Well. It's fine. You know when he's when they're in the car and then he's like. I'm like gonna die. Like I'm there's so much blah blah. With Tim Roth. Oh yeah. And then Harvey Keitel's like, no, you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. And then they get into the warehouse and then he's. T- um, he's talking to Mr. Pink, and he's like, yeah, I don't think he's going to make it. we got to get him to a doctor, like, now, or else he's going to die. So it's kind of the same thing. He's just... It's more of a mechanism to make them feel better, right? It's... And that can better. help, So they're like, more positive, too. And they've done studies where, like, people who are stressed out are less healthy. So if you're like, oh, yeah, you're going to die, it might kill them a little bit faster. But yeah, but would it, 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 yeah. it, it relieve the pain more? If you told them they were gonna yeah, die, yeah, they'd die think faster so. and they'd die. Like a lot of people would just panic at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, and here's a story that the guy told during the TED talk. He basically said, uh, one of the first times that he eventually started telling people, "Yes, you are going to die," it was a person that was trapped in a car, like being like crushed by something, mm-hmm. and which it's kind of a weird story because he go he ends up going and sitting beside her and talking to her oh. but uh, because they have to wait until someone can like pry her out or something but she is he knows she's going to die and she's freaking out she's like am I gonna die and then he says yes you are going to die and then she calms down and accepts it and then they have a nice like they have a conversation about like mm. life and death and stuff and then she eventually is like okay I'm ready now I'm gonna die and yeah. she dies so, like, um, so like, would you want to be calm like that and, and willing to yeah. die or would you want to be fighting? Well, I, well, it d- I don't know. It's about the person. Like, yeah. it, some people, you tell them that they're going to die, and they would just completely freak out. And, yeah, and but with some people, you would fight accept. harder knowing that. But I feel like it's when you know you're going to die, you just have to accept it. Because, like, the person he was talking about was freaking out originally because she thought she was going to die. But that was also because of the uncertainty that she thought if she fought, like, hard and, like, freaked out, then she wouldn't die. So when he said, yes, you are, it was kind of an acceptance thing that I feel like all humans inherently have, like, this acceptance. Yeah, acceptance. It kind of reminds me of the movie Crash. And, like, what part? You know when... Spoiling all sorts of movies. Well, no, it's not a spoiler. When when the girl's trapped in the car and then the cop... Oh. Oh, yeah, isn't that, like, the Mm -hmm. start of it? No, it's, like, halfway through. Because I haven't actually seen the movie. It's a really good movie. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's got, like... Didn't it win an Oscar? Yeah, I think it but was the best people, picture. But a lot of people don't like it for some reason. I think another movie... What was the other movie that people say should have won? Um, Shawshank? 
No. No. No, no. no. Uh, it was like 2006. Keep talking, I'll tell you when it came out. It was 2004, Crash? but... Crash? The thing or 2005, with... I think. But I'll tell you when it came out. The thing with Crash is it's very blatantly going... Like, it's very, very stereotypical, I think. Which is one of the big mm-hmm. things. Like, it's not, it's not like, it's not subtly discussing racism or anything. It's just blatantly like, oh, the black guys are bad, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Or like, the Mexican guy is a handyman. I feel like it's just very, well, no. very. It's 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 a fantastic movie, and it deals with a lot of like really, really serious issues. But it's very stereotypical about them, and it's very. I find it's like very separated and weird. But. Way. There's a difference between stereotypical and, like, I don't know what the word, like, st- statistically correct, because there are a lot of Mexican people in big cities that are handymen, it's, and it's just, they can throw a Mexican person into that role, and to make, to get the point across, that's the whole point of the movie, right? Yeah, and, like, there, there's definitely, like, some value to using stereotypes to sort of highlight you know, whatever social issue you're talking yeah. about. Like, if you're talking about, you know, racial inequality, showing racial inequality in your movie is probably a good thing. Yeah. Right? It's the the main problem you run into in that case is, like, the sort of good versus evil thing. Like, if you make all your white guys good and all your black guys yeah. evil, you have a problem. But if you make all your white guys rich and all your black guys poor, that's sort of reflective of a lot of the world. So. Yeah. So, uh, Crash was, uh, one, the same time Brokeback Mountain and Capote were nominated. Right. Which a lot of people thought were better films. Also, yeah. Good Night and Good Luck and Munich, which were also good movies. So, it, it's which just, one? it's one of the things, it's Crash just a, one. Oh, it's just Crash a, game. it's one of those things that whatever one was going to be like, oh, well, that yeah. doesn't deserve it. The same thing that happened this year with Birdman, everyone freaked out and was like, oh, Birdman. Boyhood should have won. Ah, uh, Boyhood. Boyhood was boring. The yeah, a lot of people's story like boy, is that... Uh, if you want to win an Oscar, make a movie in a year where everything else is bad. Yeah. Yes. But in Basically. regards to the whole uh, adrenaline rush from being told, no, you're going to survive, you're not dying, uh, with situations where you're bleeding out and yeah. your heart starts beating faster, you'll just die faster because of that excitement. Well, also, if a paramedic gets you in their thing, in their vehicle and they don't have you, if you're bleeding out in there... Suture, you know? No, but that's not the. What? Well, yeah. Okay. When you, it's it's when you, it'll suck. be like mm. brain damage. And, so uh, we're gonna go into our last, very last thing that Patrick said he has something to talk about. So I'm, again, we're, I'm, you, I want to talk about this. No, thing. we'll talk about that. Ah, after. No. Okay. You didn't have anything to talk about that. Well, I, well, I had a story, but it was uh, I can't I can't remember what we were talking about. Oh, I think it was uh, Brody's thing about being in forests. Um, Forests. Yeah, Forests are fun. Um, oh, when, when I was younger, my mom used to work um, at a bar, and we were we'd been living oh, in Germany there. Your mom still works at a bar. I, I know, but <laughs> she had been working in a bar in Germany, and the rule is in Germany, anyone can go into a bar, but you still have to be like, however, whatever the legal drinking age is. To buy alcohol. Yeah, to buy alcohol. Oh, and so. On, um, I think it was Thursdays, we had, um, TGIT, because a lot of people went up, went away on Friday, so we couldn't have TGIF. Mm-hmm. And... TGI. I know, yeah. <laughs> um, so, for one day, like, me and my sister had walked over to the bar, and we'd been there, and we'd just been chilling out. And one of my friends had come over, and so we decided to go out into the forest that was around the bar, and we were playing. And... Was the... The bar was just in the middle of the forest. I'm just picturing a bar in like a meadow in the yeah. middle of the forest. <laughs> yeah. okay. yeah. oh, what else would you Imagine expect? it as like yeah, the cast of Shrek. There's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's a bar, Black and um, at the very front of it, there is like the main road. Bar. To the right of it, there was like a hangar or something. I'm not entirely sure. I never really asked what was there. To the gallows. <laughs> and then everything else to the left of the bar was just like. Forest. It wasn't like heavy. It wasn't heavy Town dense jail. forest. It was like just. It was just a, a lot of trees. Bushes. <laughs> but um, so me and my friend had gone out and we were playing with sticks and we were doing like this imaginary thing. And I should say that um, the bar that we were on was on a base, like a, a military base. And so we'd been. 
Yeah, what kind of place is this? <laughs> a bar, okay, a bar in the middle of the <laughs> forest, which is also on an army base. In the middle of the forest. an island in Australia. It's <laughs> <laughs> a mystical place. The Solomon so, Islands, an island off the coast of Australia that is owned by Germany. Actually a place. Wow. That's where oh, okay. it's okay. so probably where we're um, So me and my friend have been playing, and I think... I was I was pretending to be Gandalf or something because I just I just rewatched Lord of the Rings because I've watched that like fifty thousand times. Um, That's all. And yeah, only. Um, and so I can't remember what we were doing, but I remember I said like, and I'll say the spell, and there will be a big boom. And so I said the spell, and as soon as I said that, a jet took off from the base, uh. and so I said it, and there was this big boom, and we oh, it was so beautiful. Did it bomb like? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> and it was beautiful. <laughs> and that's why we moved away. <laughs> and that's why they left. Because our soul got blown yeah, up by a, a bomb. It was just a plane taking off, but in the first spell, yeah. Patrick cast. Yeah. Yeah. I know. So, so, I may or may not be a wizard. Do you remember the words of it? Yeah. So, so, uh, it's a bar next to the gallows and a jail <laughs> on top of a military base, like with like a biodome kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. On an in, island in, in a Australia. forest, yeah, on a military base on an island in Australia. <laughs> wow. Which is owned by Germany. I'm, I'm going to be writing a documentary about it. Soon, <laughs> okay, so. good. I'm excited. Patrick the Wizard. Patrick Something Wizard. like that happened to Nick and I. We're at. Uh, uh, rehearsal for Gateway Theater. How did Guild? something like that happen? No, 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 the whole right We were there this, too. No, no, no. <laughs> but the whole, like, wait, when, when he said something, it happened. And so we, there was a poster, not a poster, it was just yep. words up on the board. And it just said, Lord of the. And then. So Lord of the Rings. It said Lord of the Rings. No, it didn't Lord say ring. <clears throat> we were about to say it, remember? Yeah, we were about to say it. <clears throat> it didn't say the word, though. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and so. As, oh, and we got, and thing. so was the Lord of the, and then somebody who was rehearsing said ring right at the same time. That's strange though. You have to wonder, it's the same as the, like, someone discovering math and stuff, just like weird coincidences oh, like that. Are like, they coincidences? <laughs> uh, well, math it is. Back when I discovered thing. math. Coincidence? I think not. Well, how does one discover anything? No, we, we can't we get into another conversation. Yeah, we're, we're yeah, like we're at the end of the day. Yeah. How does one discover <laughs> anything? <laughs> Tune in who, next who, time. Who yeah. decided to like put like meat in a pie? Like, I who, did. Who, who decided? Yeah. Who decided anything? It was Thank you for tuning in to Ontario Six Four Four Podcast Episode Two. Um, does anyone have anything else to say? Peace out, right. home chisels. Uh, so, uh, sticking with the uh, thing I did last week, I want to recommend another movie. Oh. Oh which, Because uh, uh, last time I talked about Drive, and um, this time I want to talk time. about something from the same director, which is called Bronson, and it's a really weird movie that not a lot of people saw. It's on Netflix. Uh, same with Drive, which I, I'm still recommending. But Bronson's, um, it's Tom Hardy, and it's about uh, one of the most violent prisoners that was ever Ooh. in Britain and it's it's it's, it's 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 very clockwork orangey so it, oh. it's, it's really cool he definitely does not work for that director I do not work for that director <laughs> yeah. 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 I just yeah. keep promoting yeah. films for Netflix and <laughs> Nicholas Winding Refn or whatever his name is um, but he doesn't even know his name that's his, that is his name I don't know why is it or whatever his yeah. name is um all right, I guess that's it. Thank you for tuning in. Everybody, give one last bazunga. Bazunga! It's bazunga, not bazunga. I'm a scat man. Scat man. Scat man. Scat man. Scat man. Scat man. Scat